We already have construction going on on our main street and then the train that causes traffic backups. Lindsay works at the Home Plate Diner right in the middle of Davis and she heard story after story from hungry drivers fighting gridlock on the interstate. We had people coming in that had waited for I've heard like 30 minutes just to get from the outside of town into town here. And compared to a normal day, what, seven, seven minutes maybe tops, you know, to get from the interstate here. Davis is used to tourism traffic with Turner Falls nearby, but Lindsay said she hadn't seen anything like today. Locals had to do the best they could as hundreds of drivers took a detour around the crash on I-35. And we actually um, noticed the ambulances uh, heading out. We assume it was to the crash. Now this is it right here. Troopers tell me in this situation, it could take hours just to open up one lane of I-35. This amount of traffic getting pushed off on these small towns that aren't made for this type of traffic can be dangerous for them as well. OHP said their main goal was to get one lane open. Two people were killed, five semi trucks and two other smaller vehicles all involved. One of the semis even split in half, the cab detached from the chassis. It appears as if traffic was either completely stopped or was very slowly moving and a semi came up on that uh, that that slowed traffic and actually struck the back of a passenger car going over that passenger car. And the driver of the semi that caused this was injured and had to be taken to the hospital by helicopter. One was airlifted out of out of the crash as well uh, to a hospital in Texas. I'm told they'll review dash camera video and talk with witnesses too.